If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To record terminated employees or otherwise change an employee's payroll status in QuickBooks Online, if you subscribe to a QuickBooks Online payroll service, hover over the payroll link in the navigation bar and then click the Employees link in the side menu that appears to open the Employees page. For terminated employees, first make sure you have issued the employee their final paycheck. In the Employees page, then click the name of the employee whose payroll status you want to change to open their Employee Details window. Then click the Pencil icon by the Employment section in the Employee Details window. Note that the Employment section only appears if you have issued at least one payroll. Then click the Status drop-down and select the desired payroll status choice. Choices include terminated, paid leave of absence, unpaid leave of absence, deceased, and not on payroll, which is used for layoffs or furloughs. If you select terminated, unpaid leave of absence, not on payroll, or deceased, and want to continue showing the employee in non-payroll lists, check the Show in non-payroll lists checkbox that then appears. If you select the terminated choice, then enter their date of termination into the termination date field that also appears in a two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year format. Then click the Done button in the lower right corner of this page to save the changes and close the page. To adjust how the employee list appears in the employees page, Click the drop-down towards the left side of the list to choose either Active Employees, Inactive Employees, or All Employees from the drop-down. QuickBooks Online Plus saves terminated employee data for a full year to ensure tax submissions and reports are accurate. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.